So we finally bought something to put on the truck. It's been a while. I got my buddy out here helping. And uh, so get up there and take all the parts out. gonna replace this thing with the Mopar cold air intake and then after we're done with that we're gonna show another video about replacing the hood scoop to make that functional so we got our tubing I got another pipe course our good old instructions clamps and hardware main part with the box and the cover with the gasket So I open that one up. some zero to 60 times with the timer I'll put that in the video and we'll see if this thing actually does any good
right, so we've got the box, stock air box out, throttle body, tube left over, the box location. And now we have to go get rubber grommets off the stock box and transfer them to the new box. So I got one out. It looked like it was completely squashed from the factory. It's leaving a little bit of damage, but I think we'll be fine. And then there's the other three. Just twist right out. All right, so those four are in, ready to go. Hopefully we can get that one to sit back down straight. And we gotta move on to the next step, attaching the filter adapter tube. So we'll flip it over. And there's this section. And here's our tube. We gotta line that up as it falls over bolt it together and I included these bolts to get the job done all right so there's the tube loosely attached we need to snug it up and there's a view from the inside install the supplied adapter barbed end goes into the air filter so we've got this and we've got our big blue Mopar filter all right so we got our piece put in and now we've got to get this thing in the box and on the tube and tighten down. Probably not going to be able to video that whole thing with two hands. So I'll work on that and be right back. Alright, so with a little bit of aggravation, not, not too bad. We've got the air filter in the box. It says don't tighten it down just yet. Probably, probably until we see if we can get this all lined up inside and then, then crank it down. But not too bad. The next step is the one everybody complains about, uh, taking the intake air temperature sensor out and everybody says that the hole in the new tube is too small. So I'm going to see if we can't get that put back in and I'll let you know if this one's too small as well. A few moments later. So that actually went a lot easier than I had anticipated. Everybody complains about how difficult it is to get this thing in the new hose so either I got lucky and got a hose that worked good or I don't know but I was able to uh, just slightly twist the sensor into the hole and just apply some pressure and it went right in so good to go so next step we've got to loosen some uh, AC connectors in order to get the new box in uh, a little easier some people don't do it say it could still be done but uh, I think I'm gonna listen and try to do it the easiest way possible so I'm gonna go swap back over to the GoPro and see what we got
the GoPro just died uh, but the last step that it didn't catch was just putting the two bolts back in for the AC lines so that's all secure now and there we go that was it looks pretty good uh, wasn't that bad to install I do recommend taking the AC lines loose it helped just uh, fit it in there a little easier uh, no problems with the intake air temperature sensor and everything went together good this does look really nice unfortunately when we get the uh, uh, ram air part for the hood uh, this will go away and it'll feed directly into the top of the air box so uh, but it's nice while it lasts anyway so there we have it i'm gonna go run a few zero to 60 tests see if it takes uh any time off whatsoever it is a four by four heavy pickup truck so i don't think it's gonna be a speed demon and uh and of course it'll probably take some time to adjust with the computer to pick it up uh, a little bit and then we'll run some more tests and see if it does anything different after it's been on for a few miles so there you go easy uh, probably 45 minute job start to finish with all the tools didn't take take uh, much at all all right so we're gonna fire it up and see if it makes any difference uh, sound wise Don't notice much of a difference uh, idling. We'll see about on the road. <laughs> 